Oh, and there's James. <laughs> the relationship between this president and his former FBI director has shaken Washington to its core. 100 days after this meeting, James Comey was sacked. And now he is firing back. How strange is it for you to sit here and compare the president to a mob boss? This heavily promoted TV interview is to be broadcast on Sunday, although extracts have already been released. Should Donald Trump be impeached? After his election victory, the president was briefed by Comey on claims that when Trump visited Moscow in 2013, he might have been compromised by Russian agents. Trump directly denied the salacious allegations. Did you believe his denial? I honestly never thought these words would come out of my mouth, but I don't know whether the, the current president of the United States was with prostitutes peeing on each other in Moscow in 2013. It's possible, but I don't know. Did you tell him you thought it wasn't true or you didn't know if it was true or not? I never said, I don't believe it, because I, I couldn't say one way or another. How weird was that briefing? Really weird. It was almost an out-of-body experience for me. I was floating above myself, looking down, saying, you're sitting here briefing the incoming president of the United States about prostitutes in Moscow. Next week, we'll also see the publication of Comey's book. It describes Trump as untethered from the truth. His presidency is a forest fire. The White House spokeswoman this afternoon gave one of the most withering responses ever heard from this lectern. Comey will for be forever known as a disgraced partisan hack that broke his sacred trust with the President of the United States, the dedicated agents of the FBI, and the American people he vowed to faithfully serve. One of the President's greatest achievements will go down as firing Director James Comey. The President is clearly incensed, tweeting, James Comey is a proven leaker and liar. He leaked classified information for which he should be prosecuted. And he added, he is a weak and untruthful slimeball who was, as time has proven, a terrible director of the FBI. James Comey was at one point highly respected, but then came the polarizing 2016 campaign. There is no case here. He infuriated Democrats by reopening the investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails just days before the election, possibly changing the outcome. I have nothing to do with Russia, I told you. And then Trump turned on him amid the FBI's probe into collusion with Russia. It leaves only one man above the fray, the special counsel Robert Mueller. And if Trump attempts to fire him, then the whole presidency may be in peril.